Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? Uh, I'm sure you're likely enjoying what they're calling the Trump pump. <laughs> uh, cryptocurrency is moving parabolically, uh, yeah, looking pretty exciting, and I wanted to go ahead and talk about that, give my thoughts on uh, why it's going up and how high can it possibly go, and uh, just the post-election results. And more, my more thoughts on that as I recently uh, came out as a long-time <clears throat> Libertarian and endorsed Donald Trump, <laughs> which sounds silly, but uh, uh, definitely uh, a, a great thing for America. Uh, I actually, for the first time in a long time, uh, felt somewhat proud to be American. Uh, it, it was uh, really interesting. So, <clears throat> um, so first, let's talk about uh, crypto. Is it pumping because of Trump? Um, yes and no. Yes and no. I think there's just you know extra liquidity and excitement in the market, and there's a general acceptance in the United States that uh, crypto will be a, a safer asset class to invest in. As the Democrats were horrible against it, <clears throat> arrested a lot of crypto people, and put every tax law, and you know went after anyone and everyone. <laughs> they would, they're really God, man. Thank God they lost. Horrible people, absolutely horrible. Like that, what a what a horrible ticket! <clears throat> and, and now, you, and just briefly, I saw they are so in debt on their campaign finance and how much they spent on staff for celebrity endorsements. God, they're so dumb. Oh. <laughs> just horrible. Like the progressive wing used to be like somewhat decent, but holy cow. Um. Anyways, so the the, the crypto market is pumping. Is it because of Trump? Um, there's definitely going to be, you know, a stronger market with Trump, you know, because, uh, you know, there's going to be, uh, certainly towards crypto, there's just going to be a friendlier relationship. And uh, and there's going to be, I saw something this morning, like Charles Hoskinson is going to work with RFK Jr. on uh, a better regulatory environment. So we're gonna actually going to get real representation, representation in the United States. Um from the crypto community on how it is regulated rather than letting the state just regulate it, right? Like there should be like people within the industry that understand it talking about it. So that's pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, and, and just as in general, like people have more disposable income, uh, more people can invest in retail uh, as, as we have a pro energy policy that's gonna happen and cost of goods is gonna go down and there's gonna be less money printing. So overall, just like the economy is going to be much, much better than it is. And it's been very bad for the past uh, four years, for sure. Uh, that's going to help. But, you know, on the other side, it still would have went up if Kamala won. Um, a lot to do with the halving. And then it just would have went up because um, they were working more to destroy the dollar, you know, which is good for crypto, too. So either way, crypto goes up from a tech perspective. There'll be more innovation in crypto, I think, uh, right now with the current Republican Party. And uh, with the Democratic Party, crypto would have been more of like a safe haven because they were going to destroy the, uh, America. <laughs> uh, so uh, either way, crypto wins. Uh, pick, pick however you want it to win. Uh, but I definitely think there would be a lot of innovation uh, that, that is, breeds as it's more of a friendly culture. And that, that, that culture will likely take place now in the United States. Is the United States? It's crazy. You see, like anything bullish happening in the United States, and the, this whole global market asset class just soars. So, anyways, uh, we're this morning at 2.7 trillion. Still a decent deal. Uh, total market cap, uh, 2021. You know, we hit 3.3 trillion. Cryptocurrency still undervalued, but yet it's pumping. So, that's some exciting. So, I'll just reiterate again. Around five trillion, I am probably looking to take a little off the table. Probably still buying crypto. You know, I've been buying crypto every week for a while. Um, still a net buyer, looking to hold a few coins. You know, not in the kajillion coins. Not trying to find the crazy one that's going to go to the moon. You know, just trying to get solid bags of solid projects. Pretty, pretty simple. So, um, yeah, it's pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, I think I covered it, you know, so I think overall hang out, you know, don't get too excited. Understand what the mission's about. 
understand where the historical pricing's been. Also, I should give a shout out to Coinbase. It's my kind of one stock pick. About six months ago, I, I moved like my IRA. Like, I was trying to buy like Grayscale Trust or have my IRA get exposure to crypto. I was like, I'll just buy Coinbase stock. And uh, that's, you know, certainly doing well and probably go much, much higher. It's at 270 today. Um, after its IPO went to 800, probably go past 800 in the next year. I don't know. Just my, not financial advice, just my thoughts. So enjoy the Trump pump. Enjoy uh, a better four years of America. You know, um, certainly, you know, it's interesting. It's like Trump is like my least favorite person in right between everyone else he's brought on his team and super excited for Ron Paul uh, Ron Paul's definitely my hero in the libertarian party or not really. he was I mean he used to be in the libertarian party but just a very libertarian minded person I think it's fantastic Elon's doing a great job even Vivek I mean yeah sure I mean I'm not 100% on board with these guys and everything but Tulsi Gabbard anti-war it's like man we've really we've really gotten somewhere um Proud to be an American. Sounds weird to say. <laughs> but we did it. We crushed what I thought was... We, you know, we're not crazy. We're not crazy. You know, they were told this is a tight election, tight election. It was a blowout. Thank God. See you guys in my next one.